Hi, Dr. Erickson again. Topic of today's little video is called glutathione. Glutathione is the superman of the body. Glutathione is a very potent antioxidant. As a matter of fact, you can consider it to be the mother load of all antioxidants. It's produced inside of your body, and what an antioxidant does is it protects the body. Glutathione takes the bullet, so to speak, in the body in the presence of toxins or oxidation or inflammation. Now this is a good thing and you want this working effectively in your body. However, lifestyle, diet, um, chronic exposure to infections and toxic, toxic agents over time can limit our body's ability to maintain glutathione levels. I want to talk to you about one thing that can deplete your glutathione levels quite rapidly. And that is the active ingredient in Tylenol. It's called acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is known as a glutathione depleter. It means that as you're consuming glutathione, for whatever reason, for a headache, for an infection, for a fever, you're actually depleting your body's ability to fight off toxins, oxidation, inflammation inside the system. So glutathione is like Superman. And if your glutathione is like Superman, then Tylenol or acetaminophen is like kryptonite. As we know from the comic books, kryptonite is toxic to Superman and it disables him. Now, think about this for just a moment. If your child is going in to get his vaccinations, his shots for tots, what does a pediatrician usually tell them to do before and after? Take some Tylenol. Why is that? The thinking is that it's going to reduce inflammation that be, can be caused by taking, in the, by taking the shot. However, what we understand is that glutathione is depleted by the acetaminophen, the very thing that can protect your body from the heavy metals and toxins found within the vaccinations are crippled and blocked before they ever have a chance to react to it. The end result is now the body can experience the full exposure to toxins or heavy metals that are contained within the various shots that we have received. I want you to do some more research on this one. Just a little interesting thing to get you thinking, get you into some headspace. This is Dr. Erickson saying thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to speaking with you on another opportunity.